Hey guys, it's me, Rubber Studios, and I'm back again with another LEGO video for you guys. And today, this is going to be a special one. We are taking a look at the Holiday 2011 catalog. This brings back a lot of memories for me, and yes, we're just going to jump back right into it. Lots of nostalgia here. Um, excuse the background noise. I think there's a dog barking, but whatever. Doesn't matter. So on the front, you had the Holiday set for that time. Um, it's pretty cool. I think it was the post office post office i think that's what it was yeah uh yeah it was the post office that's pretty cool um they did a good definitely did a good job with it i actually have this here this free limited edition lego um holiday thingy i got that for christmas and i remember that um i actually don't have any of the holiday sets maybe this year we'll try out one of the holiday sets but i currently have none of the holiday sets I don't know. I don't think the ski hill was part of the Winter Village holiday sets, but yeah. Um, maybe I'll get to collecting a couple of those and we can make a little Winter Village. But um, yeah, so on the side here, you'll see um, that you have uh, the hard to find stuff and then you have the Ninjago City, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego games, Lego Harry Potter, and Lego Star Wars. The reason this is one of my favorite catalogs is because... I like all of those themes a lot and know a lot about them other than Ninjago. I don't really know much about Ninjago. And I mean, I can't tell you a ton of things about Harry Potter other than I know the sets are really cool and I, like, I know the set names and stuff. Um, and then there's just some information about ordering stuff online. So flipping to the first page, um, there's this other Lego set. It's called the Winter Toy Shop. I don't know if that was part of the Winter Village line, but yeah, looks pretty cool. Gotta say though, uh, the Tower Bridge looks awesome here. For $300, it's a steal of a deal. I think it's still, I think you can still get it today. I forget if they remade it or if it's just same thing as um, in 2011, but yeah. Um, that one's pretty awesome. Over here you got the Pet Shop for $200. Again, another steal. This is one I wish I had gotten for sure. Um, it's just a really iconic modular building and just looks super cool. Then you got the uh, Volkswagen T1 camper van. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't really care for it, but it's cool. I'm pretty sure... No, okay, never mind. I, I know they did a promotion for this at one point. I can't remember. Okay. Okay, I love Lego trains. This is something that I don't talk about a lot, but I actually really love Lego trains. And um, so, yeah. Something that I noticed, I, I don't have the um, the Elmer Knight, and I was never really interested in it. It's kind of cool, but it's like an old style. This one actually costs $130, which is a steal of a deal back then. Um, I wish I had a little bit more money back in 2011, because I would have bought some pretty awesome sets. Um, actually, I do have this one, and I do remember getting it, and I can't believe it, because it's like $220. But I can do a review on this one for you guys because um, it's pretty awesome. And I think it looks great. It's definitely my favorite train that I have. I only have about two, but the one that I really wish I had gotten was the Maersk train. This has got to be my favorite train set of all time. And I just, I haven't even got it, bought it yet. And I just, I already know. What kind of surprises me though is that this set's more expensive than this set. And this set's 160 that one's. Uh, 220 and honestly to be completely honest I would have rather this one but I don't know what happened um, but I do remember picking this one up I can't remember if I bought it or if someone else bought it for me but I think I bought it so yeah old me was like hmm this one or this one and I chose the more expensive one because I don't know and it was the city one too which I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but it is a fun train and eventually I hope to pick that one up too maybe at a Lego convention or something and you got gifts under $10. I wish they still had stuff like this. I mean, they still do, but not as good stuff. This is some really awesome stuff under $10. You got the Christmas tree set. I remember getting that one. I think I have that one too, the Santa set. I do not remember the holiday stocking set. I remember getting this mini digger set. Um, I don't remember getting any Pharaoh's Quest or uh, Ninjago, but I do have this little city crawler thing here. And I don't know if it's just me, but this speedboat is a great deal for six bucks or seven dollars. Sorry, that's a steal of a deal right there. And then you just got more holiday stuff. Um, the advent calendar for Lego City. It's pretty cool. 
Um, top 10 must have for the holidays. I actually have these two sets. So if you want to see reviews on uh, this set and this set, you can. Uh, you got a Technic truck. That's pretty cool, actually, for $64. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Um, and then you got some other other sets. You got this Ninjago set. Don't know much about it. I do have this log cabin. Do not know what happened to it. So I can't tell you much about it. And then some architecture, Alien Conquest, a great theme, and Creator. So we jump into some Lego Ninjago. Oh, okay. I guess I can stay here for a second. I don't really know anything about it other than I did have some of these spinny thingies. Because um, I remember doing that. And I... Oh, actually, I think I had this set. This uh, mountain... This mountain, this set here for $24. I think I had this. Yeah, I definitely did. That's where I got the spinny thing. <laughs> um, don't ask to see a review on that. I that is in a billion pieces spread across my lego collection okay so now we got into the um the lego city police stuff i actually have this police station it's currently not built but eventually it will get rebuilt i also have this set and i don't have these two but i don't know if you remember the rest of the way there's like a police truck um motorcycle maybe i think i have almost all of it other than these two which is kind of funny because these are the two that they put on here um but yeah i think maybe i'll do a police 2011 police line review series and i'll make a playlist but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens that that's like end of next year probably when i'll get to that um you got alien conquest um i really liked this set i just never got it that's okay though. I mean, there's so many cool sets for Alien Conquest. Um, I did get a little car though at one point. So this is Pirates of the Caribbean, and this set is just so awesome, the Black Pearl. Um, yeah, I really wish I had picked that up. And even here, you can see you can get uh, this is like there's a minifigure pack, um, and then you got the some other stuff other Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, but I just wish I had picked up one of these Pirates of the Caribbean sets, because they're just so cool looking, um, especially this Black Pearl, because that's the ship I remember from the movie, I just remember all the ghost guys, and that was kind of, kind of scary, but, you know, whatever, um, you got a Harry Potter game, which I actually think is the coolest one here, although you do have some other ones, like Ninjago and stuff, but the Harry Potter one just looks so cool, and what I like the best about it is, look at those minifigures, mini mini figures micro figures look at that they're so detailed and i'm that for 2011 that's pretty good got some harry potter stuff diagon alley really wish i had that set i don't know why it just it's so cool and i know it's at the start and during the middle of harry potter they even had a harry potter promotion free mini hogwarts express uh what is it oh with the purchase of diagon alley so if you purchase this you got that that's pretty cool um, Diagon Alley is definitely the coolest set that they had back then. They also had Hogwarts Castle, which, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then they had, like, the entrance gate and the bus. I love the bus. I'm getting the new bus probably soon enough because it just looks so cool. Oh, Castle. Oh, I forgot about Castle. I Or Kingdom or whatever it's called. Oh, I, I liked it. I liked the theme. I never really got into it. I gotta say though, if I could have picked up any set, it would have been this one. This medieval market village. It's just so cool. It like I don't even know how to explain it. It just it's so cool. All the detail that they have in there. It's just amazing. The castle's pretty cool too. But uh for five dollars more to get those really nicely detailed buildings is definitely worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have car sets. So I had this car set here, this twenty four dollar one. Uh, I don't remember any of these other car sets, but Cars was a cool movie. I think they made another one, and they made a movie called Planes, and then I, by the time that happened, I was already way out of it. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, shop at the Lego store this holidays. Always go shop at the Lego store. It's the best place, other than if you're trying to find deals, then go to Walmart and Target, probably, if you live in the U.S. Um, online shopping, double VIP points. Uh, is this a video game? A new video game. Then we get into some architecture and technic. 
Uh, cool stuff. There's a supercar up here for $150, and it's unnamed. I don't... That is a bad deal. Um, I hate to be that guy, but that is a bad deal. That car doesn't look that good, and for $155, for an unnamed supercar, mm-mm, not worth it. Um... You got uh, the... Oh, you have the... They made the Burj Khalifa? That's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd pick that one up. 30 bucks, that's a pretty good deal, too. I like the... I liked when the architecture sets were small and cheap. Now they're making them bigger, and it's like $150 for a big one, and it's like, oh, my God. But, yeah, um, this is cool, this truck here, but um, it's like a Mercedes-Benz, but that... Like, and that's why I think it's worth $250, because it's actually a named truck, and it looks really cool. Although they made a better Mercedes later on. Ooh, we're about to get into Star Wars. Before we get into Star Wars, oh, we had Build Your Own Robot, Mindstorms NX, NXT uh, 2.0. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, I can't even imagine. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Um, this is the Galactic Holiday Gifts. Lego Star Wars. These, this is a, this is actually a really cool page. I wish they had this on a lot more of them. You have the advent calendar. This was fifty bucks, but oh my god, was it a steal! You got uh, I forget this guy from the Clone Wars, but he's like the head separatist guy. And you also got uh, a Chewbacca, a Christmas Yoda, which goes for a lot of money, and a pilot. That is so awesome. And you got all these cool ships too. Then you got the two battle packs for the era. Oh my god, I love this Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, I remember getting one for my birthday, and I was just like, what? Like, this is so cool. Um, I actually have three of those. I might do a review on that soon. And then you got the Mandalorian Battle Pack, which is cool. I never got any, though, so that's too bad. And then we got some small stuff. It's like magnets. These are actually pretty cool magnets, though. If I, ha I have a magnet board, so maybe if I can find some of these later. For $15 to get three is pretty cool. And then Lego Star Wars Keychains. Five bucks, all that's such a steal. Now if you get like two keychains, it's like 16 bucks a pop. Oh, the nostalgia. Okay, so this is my favorite Millennium Falcon. And you might be like, what? How is that your favorite Millennium Falcon? This was the first Lego Star Wars set. Well, okay. It's the first big Lego Star Wars set I ever got. It pretty much started it all. I'll do a review on it soon. I'm missing the Princess Leia's hairpiece. I don't know where it went, but it's just so cool, and they did such a good job with it. I just, I love that Millennium Falcon so much. It's like my, it's gotta be, it's probably nostalgic-wise, it's my favorite set, but it's just, it's so cool. It's, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. All the minifigures are amazing and very valuable, so there's that too. Ewok Attack, oh my gosh, if I can find this set. For under $50 on eBay, I will buy it. Um, so if you're selling it for under $50 on eBay, hit me up. Um, then you got this Anakin's Pod Racer set. I actually do have this set. Um, I was thinking about reviewing it until they made the new one, and then I reviewed the Anakin Pod Racer anyways. So I just display it. Um, but I might just even break down the Anakin. Yeah, so the Pod Racers was cool, but um, now that they made the new one, I actually like when they're a little bit smaller. I think it fits on the shelf better, and it, it, they just... They made them so big, and I feel like they upcharged it a little bit there. You got the Hoth Echo Base Battle. This was a really cool one for, again, $120. That's a pretty good deal, I gotta say. Uh, the R3PO, this minifigure right here, such a great deal for him. You got two Stormtroopers back in the day. That was awesome. You got a Chewbacca and a medical droid thrown in there, along with a custom printed Luke, custom Leia that you can't find anywhere else, and a custom Han Solo that were never made anywhere else, and this set was hard to find and very exclusive, but I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive, but crazy set. But I do have to say, out of all these sets, that Millennium Falcon, mm, it's just like, it, it just kind of started it all, and it's just, it's a great set. Um, oh. Okay, so there's another awesome one that I'll probably forget. This is one I'm going to have to review soon, too. But um, This one's actually really cool, too. The Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. I really wish I picked this one up. It's a good one from the Clone Wars, and I think the Starfighter just looks pretty good. Um, and for $50, it's a little upcharged, but it was hard to find an exclusive. It came with an exclusive, two exclusive 
droids, two battle droids, and uh, Mace Windu, but Mace Windu wasn't exclusive, I don't think. And then you got the Jedi Sith Infiltrator. Um, that's just an awesome one, awesome looking one, crazy minifigures. For $90, what a steal is all I have to say. Uh, okay, that's a weird one, but, uh, yeah, Sith Night Speeder. I never really was interested in that. And then an awesome one is the Republic Frigate. You got two custom printed clone troopers, two minifigures that had never been made before. The, they're all out of all five minifigures, four of them were exclusive. $160 when it was released. I actually picked it up like four years ago, maybe three years ago. So like 2016, 2015 for like 200 bucks. So that was a steal of a deal right there. Um, and it was sealed and everything, but I didn't keep my boxes back then. So what sucks is I don't have the box for this set and I don't have the box for this set either, which Whew, I wish I had the boxes, but um, did I mention that this is my favorite LEGO Star Wars era? They had amazing clone battle packs at the time, an awesome uh, advent calendar. They had a bunch of cool original trilogy sets. They had two prequel sets on the line. They had a bunch of Clone Wars, also Clone Wars battle packs. And then this page just takes me back memory lane. You have the Super Star Destroyer for $500. If I had had $500 back then, I would have bought that instead of the Death Star, to be completely honest. This one just looks amazing. The Death Star is cool. I feel like I never really completely... I like it, but it's not that great. Um, I know a lot of people will be like, what? But I don't think... I don't think... Like, the new one's nicer, but they just upcharged it more, so I don't know. But what's crazy is... The Millennium Falcon with taxes is like $1,000 in Canada. And you could get these two for $1,000 together, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, so, yeah, the Super Star Destroyer is definitely one of my favorites. But then up here, you've got two of my just sets that I dreamed about owning. Oh, my God, that was $310. Oh, my God. If this was out now, if I... If I was, if this was 2011 and I had what I, would like, the kind of, not money that I have now, but, like, I, I don't know. I've saved more, I've saved a little bit more money now. I could have been able to get this set. It's so cool. It comes with so many awesome mini figures. And then, for $350, the ATO2 dropship. Please remake this set, Lego, but awesome. Both those sets, if I could have them, would be just crazy. Like, I'd rather get these two sets over the Star Destroyer and the Death Star any day. They're just amazing sets. And they didn't even give them that much real estate on this um, thing here. But yeah, this is definitely... And then also you can see the Tantive Four down here. So I have to say this is the best era for LEGO Star Wars. You had two huge UCS sets on the line. You had this awesome shuttle from Original Trilogy. You had the ATO2 Dropship Awesome Clone Wars set. You had this Tantive Four that was out at the time. You had the Frigate. You had all these awesome sets. The Millennium Falcon and a bunch of battle packs. So yeah, I, I just have to say, that was one of the best times. And then on the back, you've got the uh, T1 camera van again. But yeah, that was a trip down memory lane. The Holiday 2011 catalogs. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been it for, this has been it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.